Hello, welcome again to another tutorial video. Um, my virtual Nigeria. Um, um, this is that good Missanti out here for virtual Nigeria, and today we're going to be doing something different. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to configure SMTP on your Red Hat server. Um, this is the right video for you. I know you're preparing. If you're preparing for your RHCE or RHCSA or if you're just messing around having fun with um, Red Hat so um, today we're going to show you how to create SMTP I need three users for this we need to create three users for this um, just to show you how it works I already have the root user so I'm just going to create two more users I'm going to create user one and user two alright so let's get straight to it user add user one and let's give the password for user one. Uh, just giving the password. It doesn't matter if it's simple. It's just for the tutorial's sake. User one created already. Let's create user two. And then let's give him the password for user two. I'm also going to give a very simple password just so I can remember. It doesn't matter right now. I'm just showing you how to go about it. Alright, we created two users already plus the root user. So we have three users now. Alright, so <clears throat> let's get straight to it. Um, yeah, install. This is to install the... Um, we're just trying to install the service, the mail service, which is called Postfix. Uh, I put the wildcard um, as the asterisk, just so that in, um, I get to install everything that has to do with Postfix. Anything that has Postfix, any package that has Postfix in it, in the name. Alright, so I'm also going to put the... Um, hyphen y option just to say yes to everything so i don't have to start typing yes over and over again okay it's installed already it's installed already um just so that you can be clear about this i'm gonna erase it and install it again so i'll go for yum erase post fix Y again. <clears throat> oh, done. We raised it already. Uh, now we're going to go on. Let's just clear the screen to make everything a little tidy here. So um, we're going to run that command again to install it now we're installing voila the installation is done all right so we'll go straight to the configuration file and start getting things done the proper way to make our mail server work so i'll just clear all of this i always like my screen tidy Okay, so um, we're going to go to the configuration file right now, and the configuration file is here. Is I, I like to use the Vim editor. Um, it's left to you, whoever, wherever, whatever you choose to use is okay. But I just choose to use Vim. This Vim works best for me. So the configuration file is in the et etc folder, post fix, and then main dot cf. That's the folder we need to edit. Alright, <clears throat> so I'm just going to start going through this um, configuration file to change the basic things that I need to change. This is, I'm just using the basic system, the basic Red Hat system in the house. So it's not like I have some um, ground breaking um, server in the house. I'm just using a basic system and running a virtual machine. So I have pretty basic settings just like you have if you're running this in the house as well alright so I'm just gonna go put in my domain name my host name and my domain name 
these two options as well so that they can get um, um, these values from here and here okay <coughs> so what next to do the interfaces um, I guess you should just comment this line and choose all interfaces so everything works out fine okay all right Okay, here you might want to choose more um, destinations so that everything just works fine. I'll comment the first one and I'll comment the second option. Keep going down to see if there's any other thing we still need to um, edit. Okay, here my networks <coughs> excuse me my networks um, this is the value that comes in um, with the configuration file when you install it but you should um, install or rather edit it to your own IP address I have a class C IP address which is where I might to Go back there. Okay. Alright, so my IP address is one nine two one six eight. Uh, let's just confirm this from another window. Uh, IP uh, show. Uh, I just want to grab the lines straight. I don't want to have to read through too many lines. So that's my IP address 192.168.10.134. So I just go straight back there and put it in 10.134. And it's a class C IP address, so it has to be uh, uh, the prefix has to be 24. So that's done. Uh, what else do we have to do? Let's go down and check. Is there any other thing? I guess not. I guess that's all for now. <coughs> so all we need to do now is exit this file and save. just so that you can see what I'm doing. <coughs> Exit this file. Save it. You want to restart the postfix service so that all of the configuration that you put in there just begins to take effect. <coughs> Doesn't matter if the first option fails. You can run it again so you can have okay twice uh, that's fine so um, we're going to try to mail send emails from one user to another so I created two users earlier user one and user two so I'm gonna send an email from root right now to user one 
and let's see if user one gets the email. So the command, this is how you send the email. The command to use is mail. Hyphen S option is just so you can put in the subject. Hello, user one, and then just put in the address of the user one. User one at um, local hosts dot local domain last point and then you type in your message here please remember that um, to end this email if you keep pushing enter it just keeps going on and on but for you to end it you have to push a period like that and that has to be the only thing on the line for you to terminate your email and send it so once I push enter now the email goes through okay all right that's fine <coughs> Let's clear the screen again. All right, now let's log in as user one to see if user one actually got the email. All right, then mail. Voila, user one got the email. And that's it. Hello, user one. To see the contents of the email, you just need to push the enter button again. See that? <coughs> Type in your message here. Thanks. Uh, exit. Let me exit back to it. Okay, so you see now that user one actually got my email. So um, one more important thing to do is at times you might want to configure aliases um, such that you want one user to get an email that is meant for another user. You are the administrator, so you choose to um, you choose who gets what email times you know so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to configure an alias so that user 2 will get user 1's email instead so that user 2 will get user 1's email instead so okay show the configuration file for aliases it's here I'm um, sorry I'll be fine ATC analysis. Okay. Alright, so we just go straight to the end of the file. And then we will make an entry here. Remember that the first username you put here should be the original owner of the email okay then you push your tab button twice and put the alias that's the user that you want to get the email so the original user won't get the email in this case it's just the alias that will get the email so user 2 is the alias and that's who we want to get user 1's email okay so that's that Alright, once you put an entry in the aliases um, configuration file, you need to run this command new aliases so that um, the new aliases you entered can be registered. Okay, so what next to do now is to <coughs> send an email um, to user1 and see if user1 gets it or user 2 ends up getting it like we have configured it to be okay so you want to restart the service as well it doesn't hurt service post fix restart that's fine so let's send an email again mail hyphen s you should not get this let's 
Zero one at local host. Don't forget that this has to be your host name or the domain name. In this case, this is what it is for me. Local domain. Alright. Hello. I just hope you do not get this email. I would like to type hello like that. But anyway, that's fine. Enter. Good. Alright, so let's um, see if user one actually got that email. still the old email that is there so we're sure and confident that user one did not get the email let's clear the screen and exit from user one's account back to root all right so we're just going to check if user two got the email to got the email all right so um <clears throat> that is all about email configuration thanks for watching if you have any questions please send me your questions um leave comments down there or send me an email um, my email address is also um down there all right thank you for watching um this is virtual global nigeria and it's that good news sign to you that put this tutorial across to you. Thanks and I'll see you in my next video.